Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Tuesday afternoon weather webcast for July 29th, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. What a difference uh, a day makes. Uh, just 24 hours ago, we were watching storms off to the north and the potential for severe weather, which we saw yesterday. Lots of uh, damage reports, mostly in Houston County. Tree limbs down, power lines down, even had a house that was struck by lightning and caught fire. Thankfully, no one was hurt in any of these storm reports. But now we're dealing with absolutely gorgeous weather, lots of sunshine, few clouds out there in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. But uh, other than that, it is all good. Lower humidity, too, feeling much nicer than the very humid, icky, and sticky weather we've had here recently. Low temperatures today, even though they uh, don't seem quite as low as uh, we were going for. Actually, we forecast 69 last night, so we got to 68 here in Dothan. Most other folks hung around that 70-degree mark down south in the Panhandle of Florida, a little bit more uh, mild, especially down south uh, for uh, folks along the coast. But uh, a lot of folks hit the 60s, 66 in Abbeville, Enterprise, Dothan, uh, and Troy all hit the 60 degree mark and right near 70 degrees for most. But it was the uh, lack of humidity in the air this morning that really surprised people. Uh, hopefully you weren't surprised because we told you that was going to happen uh, today too. So just a few clouds around this afternoon and that is about it. Nothing really to look at on a satellite and radar picture. It's all about these temperatures, which are, uh, for most of us, on the mild side. 84 in Dothan right now, 87 in Troy, Abbeville, Enterprise, 88 in Geneva, Bonifay and Mariana. Some spots in the 90s, Blakely, <coughs> excuse me, Andalusia, Donaldsonville, Destin at 90 or above. We expect these temperatures to be a little bit cooler for tomorrow as a second push of drier air moves in. It's gonna be much cooler tomorrow morning and much more comfortable tomorrow afternoon. Dew points haven't totally dropped in the mid 60s and some upper 50s. We expect uh, dew points to be well into the 50s for tomorrow. That is very, very dry air, so it's gonna feel even more comfortable tomorrow than it does right now. When you get dew points in the 50s in July, you're doing something right, and uh, that's what's happening right now. A big cold front has swept through the area. That's what caused all that nasty weather yesterday, and now it's mostly in the Gulf of Mexico and the peninsula of Florida Central and uh, central and southern Florida, I should say, seeing some of the rainfall right now and off the Carolina coast. And back behind that front, it is glorious. 80 degrees in Birmingham, 78 in Nashville, 79 in Atlanta. And this is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and the humidity is way low. You just do not get this kind of stuff in July. Great weather. We've had three different spells of this kind of weather here in the month of July, right around July 4th, then in the middle of the month, and now we're closing out the month with some pretty dry and comfortable conditions. And this will persist for, uh, for at least the next two days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Nice stuff. Tomorrow, I think temperatures will be a little bit cooler to start off the morning because of the lower humidity. Tomorrow afternoon, no rain chances, a few clouds, that'll be it. Very comfortable once again, even though temperatures will get warm, I think in the uh, upper and mid 80s, that's still not warm for this time of year. That's uh, well below average. We'll still have that low humidity, which we'll enjoy. Here are your future temperatures tomorrow morning. Yeah, way down there, 60s for tomorrow morning, low 60s. 60 in Troy, 60 Abbeville, 61 in Dothan tomorrow morning. Forecast lows, forecast highs tomorrow. Really comfortable. Middle 80s and some upper 80s. I think most of us will be in the middle 80s and some in the upper 80s. We'll go for a high of about 86 to 87 for Dothan tomorrow. Really comfortable stuff. Here are the dew points. When you have dew points below 60 degrees at any point in July, doesn't matter if it's an evening, afternoon, whatever, it is dry. You see the dew points tomorrow morning in the 50s. It's not going to get that cool. However, it's going to feel very crisp and comfortable tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, with all that heat, not a whole lot of heat, but you keep saying a lot of heat, but 80s, middle 80s is pretty nice. Dew points will be in the mid-50s. That is going to feel really nice. I don't know if I can get over it, how nice it's going to be uh, in the wire grass for the next couple of days. Thursday, uh, still the same story. A little bit more moisture in the air, and by Friday, we start to see more transition to a typical summertime pattern. Uh, so, unfortunately, it does have to come to an end, but not before. Some really nice weather for the middle of the work week. So, if you don't have anything to do, you're still on vacation, still got some time to kill, take the next couple of days off if you can, and uh, go out and enjoy uh, if you have any questions about the uh, afternoon weather webcast, you can get to us on the social media sites listed at the bottom of your screen. Also, this video will be posted on YouTube. We'll post the link on all those social media sites here in uh, just a few minutes, most likely by 3 o'clock. All right, hopefully we'll uh, see everybody back here on Wednesday.